Hello, my name is Sean and today I'm going to show you how to manage your classroom using Google Documents, Google Sheet, Google Forms, Google Classroom, Google Slides, Google Sites and YouTube. All right, let's go ahead and uh, open up. Uh, for those who don't know, Google Sheets uh, is a program, it's an application actually offered by Google which uh, acts and works exactly like Excel. So in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how I manage my classroom. I created a file called Student Mark Master. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this file. Uh, this is exactly like Excel. And as you can see, there are cells, there are information that I recorded here. I have my student names and I have their marks and assignments and homework and everything here organized for my own, uh, own sake and for myself. Now, the only difference between this and an Excel file would be that you are actually recording this data inside the um, internet, I mean, inside your Google Drive. And you don't need to save it anywhere. You don't have to uh, keep it with you or take it with you in a USB drive or anything. Everything will be online and it will be all saved uh, and secure. Now here, as you can see, I have all the test marks, presentations and everything all sorted out and organized for myself. What makes this interesting is that I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, open another Google Sheets. Another Google Sheet I created is called Student Performance Sheet. Now, this is uh, pretty similar to the one I showed you before. Uh, the difference between these two, the student marks and the student performance sheet, is that I let the students see this file, but I don't let the students see the other one that I keep. Now, that just allows me to share uh, some information that I need to share with the students and keep the other ones that I need to keep for myself. Now, another an benefit of using uh, Google products over some uh, applications or programs like Excel is that you have the option to share these documents with certain people if you want to. Now, this program, this student's per, uh, performance sheet is only shared with the students in my class. How, I, how do I uh, manage that is by clicking on the share on the right side and here you can actually manage who you want to share these information with. Uh, I'm sharing this actually with uh, everyone at my school so they can only view it. Uh, you can set it up in a way that they can edit it, they can comment, but I only want them to see this as a report card and they can only view it. They can't change anything. Now, uh, believe it or not, uh, a traditional way of doing this would be to create a one file for myself and another file for students and copy paste the information here that I want to share with students to the other Excel sheet that, or the Google sheet that I want to share with students. But amazingly, there's uh, some tools and functions that you can link, uh, you can use and link uh, these two files together. So that's what I'm doing now. Uh, if I actually click on one of the uh, files here or one of the data here, I can see that I programmed it in a way that uh, this, this specific data is going to be uh, be taken from the Excel sheet that I just show you that is for my own information. It's taken from that and in a specific sheet and a specific data. Uh, the way you can do that is by using import range that uh, I will, uh, if you don't know how to use that, I will explain that in a, in a video. You can look at it on the right side of the the page here, the links is going to be available. Uh, click on it and see how I, you can link this for information together. Uh, however, uh, I, I linked all these information to specific data in the other Excel sheet or the other Google sheet that I created. So all I have to do is that um, in, for example, if I change one of the marks here in my own Excel sheet, the, the, the report card that is provided and shared with students will automatically change. This is very beneficial because I don't have to copy paste or I have to I don't have to be worried that there's going to be mistakes by uh, the from the file that I create for myself and the files that I share with students. Um, this is only one thing that I share with students, though. Uh, on top of the Excel sheet that I provide for students to look at it as a performance sheet, um, I have created uh, the predicted final exam file. Now here, this column uh, has been added uh, with some uh, information I provided, and uh, this is going to guess what their marks is going to be in the final exam, and it's going to actually also predict 
what the final average of the students are going to be. Uh, if you're interested to know how I did this uh, functions as well, uh, I will create a video specifically for that reason. Now, one of the other things I share with students is that I have put this file, this link to this student performance sheet in, into a website. And I actually shared a website with the students. I'm, go I'm going to go ahead and share the website with, with you. All right, here when you log into sites.google.com, you will be redirected to uh, a page like this and uh, there is a new feature for uh, Google Sites I'm going to click on that this is where I, they, I use to make my website so this is the website I created for the students uh, so I will share this link with them through Facebook or email so they can click on it and this is what they will see all right, so this is what the students will see. Uh, this is a website that I have created the links for every classroom for students. They can simply click on any link and this will redirect them to the appropriate page that they clicked on. Uh, designing these websites using Google Sites is extremely easy. You can manage the pages here. You can insert uh, certain things that you want. Uh, if you are interested in to know how to design a website with Google Sites, please uh, watch my other video regarding how to create a website now inside the website i have created some links uh, i have the google classroom i have facebook groups course outline isu manual semester plan and all that students performance sheet is the one that i just show you so if students click on this it, it will redirect them to the uh, google sheet that i just showed to you so i link google sites to google um, uh, s sheets here uh, in order to uh, better perform the classroom and also give the give the students more information about how they are doing in the course uh, as you as you could see on the website there are other links that I share with the students so let's take a look at them as well uh, Google classroom so this is the one that I use the most often uh, I'm going to go ahead here and go to Google classroom so let me type in here Google Classroom so on top of the website and uh, the Google sheet that I provide for the students there is this uh, website called Google Classroom so you can click on it and you can see that I do post everything uh, as a routine as as I do every day in a class so if you have a homework if you have summary of a chapter or anything I just posted here and everyone can access to it I have to invite students to this uh, to this website. So this is how you invite uh, students. Do you give them a code? Uh, if you're not sure how to use Google Classroom uh, with uh, with students, I, I will uh, please check out my video to how to create a Google Classroom. Now. In this Google Classroom, I provide everything that I need to do with students. One of the links I show is the uh, presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. So this is the way that students are going to uh, technically uh, mark the other students' presentation. So a student comes to the board and do the presentation. Everybody else uh, logged into their Google Classroom. And they will find this link. They will click on it. And then they will redirect it to... Uh, Google Forms. Google Forms is one of the best ways to collect information and data from students. As you can see, this file will pop up and it will give them a presentation rubric. They have the options to mark uh, their presentation that they're just saying and they will submit it. Uh, how I will get these information, since I'm the owner of this file, I will have the edit button here. I can simply click on this and the, all the responses will technically be converted to an Excel sheet and obviously called Google uh, Sheets that I can see what uh, uh, and w what marks each student gave to the presenter. Uh, this is the name of the presenter that I was asking. This is the name of students and these are the marks and I do the quick calculation here to get the average and that's how they get the marks for this specific assignment. So one more time, this Google Classroom which is uh, some sort of an organization for me to organize these uh, the subjects that I teach every day in class is also linked to uh, to Google Forms, which is one of the best ways of uh, collecting information from uh, students or anyone, I, I guess, in this case students, but it could be any uh, other reasons. 
one of the things I wanted to show you was by uh, going to the website again. So I'm going to go back to the website that I show you here. Uh, one of the other things that I use for my classroom is the Facebook group. So uh, I guess everyone is familiar with that. Uh, I have created a Facebook group and uh, create a link here in my Google Sites. So anyone can click on this and they can check the Facebook. Uh, I guess no one has to do actually come here and click on it. Everyone has the application on the mobile or on their iPad. So anything that I post on the Facebook group, they will uh, be automa uh, automatically and uh, right away notified so they will know so the, the the facebook group i use it for communication and send them a message if there's anything like emergency uh i have here the course outline the isu manual the lab manual and, uh, and some sort of an information that i want to share with students what i use for that is google documents so i'm going to go ahead and share one of them with you so i'm going to open google documents so docs.google.com when I log into my account, uh, the files that I have created before is going to show up. Uh, obviously, if you haven't created anything, you click on the blank or the sum of the templates that are ready, then you can do some editing. Uh, I'm going to show you how my course outline is going to look like. So uh, if any students goes to the website and click on course outline, this file is going to pop up. Now, what is the advantage of using this uh, program, Google Docs, instead of just having a file and a Word document? Now, one of the major differences and one of the major points and benefit of using Google Document is that you can always upgrade and change this file, and uh, it will automatically be changed for everyone that have the link to it. Now, this link was given to the students in the beginning of semester. Now, if I do any changes in this, so like if I change the color, now, anyone uh, clicking on this link right now, even if the, the link was given to them a year ago, they will see the uh, changes right away. So technically, you are having the access to a file that is live to everyone that have the link. So that's a very uh, big benefit compared to the Word document. Uh, I'm sure it has happened to you that you shared a file or a Word document with someone and you wanted to make some changes. but but the file that you already sent is already gone and you can't change anything about it. But in this way, you can always make some changes in your document and it will be automatically saved in, in your Google Drive and it will be shared with the people that you managed to share. If you don't know how to create a Google document or how to share it with, uh, with uh, people, please click on the video I made for Google uh, Documents and I will tell you in details how to create one and how to share with other people. Now, so far, uh, we have learned how to create a Google uh, website, or not to create it, but to how to use a Google site uh, to link it to our Google Classroom, and also to Google Sheets, Google Documents, and Google Forms. One more thing that I wanted to show you is uh, also, again, uh, mentioned in my website, is the last link here, Video Tutorials. Now, uh, on top of all these documents and the folders that I prepare, I also prepare a uh, YouTube channel uh, for students to use. So anyone that uh, clicks on this link, uh, they will be redirected to a channel uh, that I have set up. So, so this is my channel. Uh, I put some videos here so uh, students will be directed to this channel and they can uh, they can see uh, what videos I have recently uploaded. If there is anything that I want to teach them, I put it on YouTube in this channel and I will share the link with them. Uh, so far, I have some links here that will uh, shows them how uh, to use Excel or Google Sheets or some other tips that I want. So I want to go back to uh, Google Classroom. Okay. Now let's go to this classroom and see that I asked the students uh, to produce their presentations using Google Slides. In that case, what's going to happen is that they're going to share the link of their presentation here in the Google Classroom. And any students in the classroom can simply click on this link and uh, the file for the presentation will pop up. Now, the benefit of this, again, is that you don't have to actually use or send or share any actual file this is an online slide so this looks like a powerpoint 
and uh, you can create presentations here and you can share it. Uh, technically, using Google products, Google document, Google sheet and Google slides, you can uh, overcome the use of uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel and Microsoft PowerPoint. The major benefit and the uh, best part of using Google products is that you don't have to worry about uh, carrying your files around and it will be automatically saved on your uh, Google Drive. I hope this session was useful for you. I use all these products from Google to manage my classroom uh, from Google Slides to Google Classroom and Google Sheets, Document Forms and YouTube as well as uh, Google Forms. Now, uh, if you don't know any of these uh, products, please l click on one of the links on the screen that shows uh, how you can learn it. I have provided a tutorial for every individual program in Google, so it can set you up with the basics and how you can start creating them. Uh, uh, except Google Classroom, everything else provided from Google as of today is free. Uh, Google Docs, Sheets, Forms, uh, Slides, Sites, and YouTube are free to create an account, so you don't have to worry about paying. Google Classroom is a little more complicated, so the domain of the classroom uh, has to be set with the domain of your institution or your class, because Google Classroom is strictly made for uh, education and for universities, colleges, and schools. So your school has to apply for it so you can get the account for. But everything else as, uh, as the slides, Google Sheets, documents, and everything else is free. Uh, I hope the session was helpful. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you. See you next time.